We're back. We're back. It's a beautiful Wednesday here in New York City. It's a scorcher. Summertime is here. Summertime sadness, just like Lana Del Rey says. People were sweating outside. It's just gross. Just sweating like stuffed pigs. <laughs> <laughs> we got a big show this week. We got a big show every week, friend. Big show. There was mm. a lot of changes that happened to us last week. I've been changed. We saw well, one is we saw Black Panther. Amazing film. Did you see Black Panther? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there. I don't know where you're We're going. All, we also hung out with our friends at IMDb. We did. On Twitch last week. And we discussed the film. Um, we discussed life. some um, life. Yeah, we discussed some comic book Mike, tie-ins to the show. Can. We also talked Hi, about... Um, hey, Hamed. The upcoming Marvel MCU movies. We talked. We talked about it all. Yeah, it was life changing. Yeah. You can see that on their. It was Twitch. a long. It was like an hour and a half of just talking. It's just friends talking. Just uh, homies hanging out. <laughs> you know what else happened last week? What? We redesigned our mobile website. I know you use our mobile website all the time. I do actually. Uh, a lot of hard work went into making it easier to use. It's so smooth. It's like an app now. Go yeah. to, go to m dot comicsology.com mike m.comicsology.com check it out on your mobile device mike you better get your button to see black panther asap mike if you don't see black panther right you're now you're banned i will i will ban you so fast <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that was cool you can watch us on twitch on imdb's channel still i think the video is still up and then uh, don't forget to check out our mobile site cuz it's what? are you going to post the link for them after this that would be I, nice. i'm going to post it right i'm going to post it jose if jose's here i don't know if jose's here right now maybe jose can post it in the chat yeah, that'd be cool. If anyone is in the chat with a link, just please post it. Please post it. We run a want a tight ship here. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening in the world of comic book news? ASAP. All right. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so one of my favorite. It's not really news. It's like more like fan news. Okay. I guess it's the same thing as news. I love fan news. So Jabba's sail barge is becoming a toy. <laughs> Java do hot. Java, <laughs> bring me solo, John Wilkie. <laughs> um, I say I've only called him Java do hot, so James thinks his name is Java do hot. That sucks. <laughs> like now he's gonna go tell his friends that that's his name. He probably will. He'll be like, "You mean Java do hot?" And they're like, "Now Java do sounds like Scooby Doo's brother." <laughs> Java do hot. <laughs> So what about this barge? So um, Hasbro is doing this awesome stuff where they're starting to crowdsource um, money to make these awesome toys, which mm -hmm. is a good idea, love actually, because obviously it. this ship is going to cost a gazillion dollars. And let's see how many people want it first before we waste the money on making this. Sure. So there is no shocker. There is people that want this. And I think one of them is sitting right here. Are you going to throw down some cash? It's $499 for this. But it's really cool. It's four feet long. That's huge. Yeah. That's like a... That's like a mantelpiece. If oh I had God. a fireplace at home, which I don't, no, yeah. I would just... Jabba's barge would just be like on the top. It would be right next to your picture of Tom Brady, probably. I don't have a picture of Tom. Mm. Trevor, playing Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. I haven't seen Black Panther either. You won't ban your boy. We won't ban you. I've banned plenty of people in my life, Trevor. Watch out. <laughs> I think everyone probably has been banned at one time <laughs> or the other. USS Bragg, Mike wants one. Hasbro, call us. Hasbro, I know you're watching. If you want us to do a call tour us. of your studios, we're ready. We're ready. Um, also, there's like no information about this Joker origin movie, but it's apparently starting to be the production's beginning in May. And there's Seems like literally no information. That's weird right sounds like the solo movie sounds like yeah like we're not gonna get a trailer <laughs> until like the day before it comes out <laughs> in the theater i don't know why they're making all these movies take a break and they said that it's gonna be completely alone probably like suicide squad where it doesn't really tie in to anything else so that also to me makes i'm fearful mm. of that um scorsese's on as a producer though also weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just I don't discovered know um, Scorsese's Instagram recently. Is he's he like your gr lot? he's like your grandpa, just yeah. posting on Instagram. I follow Tony Bennett, and it's amazing. Really? He's my boy. Hmm. I follow Sylvester Stallone. That's not surprising to me. He's uh, his his Instagram is amazing. Is it? Yeah. 
as good as yours or it's just him and his brother like talking to each other in the Broheim? comments they get in the comments i don't even know if you're a celebrity of that like size i don't understand how you use the comments on instagram like I you've got thousands of don't. comments yeah how would you even weed through that um chunk? and and my final news is that um aowen the actress that plays aowen from lotr is going to play um aunt zelda on um the chilling adventures of sabrina show your show my, that's my show. So I'm like following this very closely because I'm very excited. Yeah. And then um, Lucy Davis, who plays Etta, um, Steve Trevor's like assistant in Wonder Woman, is going to play her other aunt, Hilda. Oh. So they picked two awesome women to play her aunts. And I always love the aunts. They're so awesome. Mm-hmm. So, yes, excited. Oh, yeah. Tim Tim points out Marvel Comics is relaunching. Well, yeah. I don't know if it's technically a relaunch. Well, I guess they're like... Put, they're doing an initiative. Yeah, I'm excited though. The the Avengers title that they're making the the main title is they're just gonna have one Avengers comics comic now, and everything. And it's gonna be 18 times be a year. All encompassing. And Jason Aaron and Ed McGinnis on art. I know Ed McGinnis probably won't stay on there for like more than a the couple of issues. Time, They'll yeah. rotate, but hopefully they get another stud. A stud muff. Uh, another stud muff, the likes of which of Ed McGinnis. I'm all in, Marvel. Marvel, I know you're watching. I'm all in. We're drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a comment about Lego superheroes I wanted to talk about. Uh, the DLC pack is epic. You said on uh, Twitch, Mike, we'll get to the Earth in just a second. Don't worry. Um, the Earth is still missing. Oh, uh, spoiler. Spoiler alert. The Marvel, the Lego games you mentioned on Twitch, I think it was, I think those games are so hard. I didn't want to <laughs> like you were you were talking. You didn't talk- want to like, like oh shit I've never completed any because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> you miss like one clue in Lego okay. games. You're done for four hours. You it's are over. But you know what your best friend is? The internet. The walkthroughs. Yeah, I've, on, I've on had YouTube's. to go look those up. I've had to tell James like sorry son like, I'm an idiot. You can I definitely gotta go look finish it all like if you're just going through. But if you want to like complete every section to get like all of the like awards and plaques and stuff. You have to watch the walkthroughs because it'll be like, oh, I missed this stone that was under like this statue that was behind this bookcase and under the ground. Like, you know, it's like, how would anyone, how would a child do that? They need more hints in the game, I feel like. If you're, if like, if you haven't found your next step in an hour, there should be like some kind of arrow, like, hey, dummy, over here. There is like things that you can unlock that do that. (sighs) Yeah. Uh, They're all cheats. Tim's they're renumbering everything again it's actually sort of true they're doing what they did years ago which I loved which was they would show both numbers like if it's Avengers number one that would be like the prominent number but then like next to it would be like this is actually numbering? yeah I don't know why they got rid of that that was the smartest because thing because now I think personally I mean I don't even know what number anything is anymore <laughs> it's like no like I don't want to be like oh did you check out Avengers number 965,721 <laughs> like you know that's like a little OD for me they should have infrared like in the Batman games yeah they should uh there's 18 places to explore in Lego Marvel superheroes hmm. I don't think I've ever played that one I played the demo I tell James we get the demos we play those nice because i'm cheap cheap <laughs> should we talk about comic books i, I think guess? we should maybe mm. all right let's do it you first um so i've been on a batman kick lately ever since my bff um joelle decided you know to write to start drawing these bff joelle. but she's not now um michael janine is now he's drawing back. this he's back and poison ivy is also back in this issue poison poison ivy and she like poison ivy always does is she like infiltrates the minds of pretty much everyone Hmm. so she's in batman's head she's in alfred's head she's like controlling basically everyone that batman loves and it's really interesting and the art let me show you this one page i was just like hmm this is nice that is nice whoa look out let me get that ad out of the way get that gross ad out of here look at that that's gorgeous. Gorge. Gorge. Mm. So Poison Ivy's back. She's one of my favorite characters. I, don't I know. believe it. She's really cool. Like her and um, Catwoman and I guess Harley all mm-hmm. used to hang out. B- BFF. Like, but Biffers. I feel like Catwoman's more on the good side now. But who knows? Maybe this will bring her back to the dark side. I thought Ivy was on the good side for a while. Maybe that I was just the animated I think they've all dabbled. Series. I want to say Harley never has, but because she's just insane. But um, yeah. It's really cool. Check it out. It's just 
poison ivy doing poison ivy stuff poisoning people it's nothing like too minds. shocking but it's uh it's really well drawn and well written remember when uma thurman was uh poison ivy yeah. in that movie i forgot that she was poison ivy yeah notorious troll larry larry taylor says talking comics i'm out see ya <gasps> larry what do you want us to talk about rubble Darth cop Vader? <laughs> uh infinity countdown prime number one oh boy wolverine's got an infinity stone gem he does he has the space one um this is kind of just to get you pumped for the uh, like the legit series that's coming out this is kind of just to get you ready for this is one of your books wasn't it did I, am i talking about one of your books um we both read it so i figured we could both talk about okay. it okay but go uh, ahead uh thank you so Wolverine's kind of just floating around holding this gem and Loki comes after him. Ultron and his goons come after him because they want the stone. Right. And uh, you get kind of information on where the other stones are. So this is kind of just like a setup for the Infinity Countdown. And I think it's just like a good way to just like refresh your memory with like even what the stones are, you mm -hmm. know? Um, yeah. He gets pretty wild with Loki. Like look at this... Uh he puts a claw right in his eyeball. He does. And then Loki, like a G, just bandages himself up and like goes on with his That's life. That's why I was like, I was reading. I was like, man, Loki's a G. He is a G. That's so weird that you thought I that too. I love Loki. I think his b banter is just like hilarious. He's a pretty funny cat. He really is. Um, love him. So that's Infinity Countdown Prime. I obviously got it because Wolverine is in it and he's back. My boy. He's like old, old Wolverine. No, this is the young one. He looks old. You mean old, old. He's like not, before old man. Yes, he's a hunk. So he's it's just like, the way this guy draws him. Pre old, pre old, pre old man Logan. This is the way Mike Diodato draws him. Um, I, I mean, the art in that's really, like, really lovely. It's a G. <laughs> I yes, it is. <laughs> I'm hip. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm cool. Um, I, I don't know which one to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Get monstrous out of the way. I feel like all right. So <laughs> not out of the way, but not out of the way. Obviously, because it can always be in my way. <laughs> <laughs> so monstrous is back with issue number fourteen, and um, Mika and her posse crew are traveling to um, Pontus, which is this land that actually is accepting of the Arcanic people. Um, and the Arcanic people are the people that are like half human, half animal. And there's a war between the Arcanics and the humans that are trying to be kind of tempered right now. And a lot of people are trying to get it like going again because they just want to wipe out everything. So mm -hmm. um, they're going to this land that still accepts uh, the Arcanics and um, make a, her uh, monstrum, Zin, that's inside her is actually sort of like taken on like uh, an actual like form so in because before it would just used to like he used to come out and just like wreak havoc and eat people and she always like craved flesh and stuff and now it's like walking beside her like they're like bffs Whoa. but they're not um so she's in this land with her cronies and she has to um they're trying to use her to turn on this um i guess this like protective orb thing that protects pontus because they know that everyone's going to come for them and try to kill them all so she gets into a little bit of trouble and bites off a little bit more than she can chew but it's still amazing and the story continues mm, your favorite title uh yes monstrous is my favorite book in the entire planet gorgeous yes like this beautiful beautiful art Woo! yeah oh my god it's really lovely um, so definitely check it out there was a few comments that i wanted to read let me see if i can scroll back mike rappin he's back hey, i own avengers nine million thank you very much <laughs> uh, i hope you have that board <laughs> <back>. <laughs> yeah. let's see remember that movie with a temple in south africa jerry we're gonna need a little bit more than that was that the Firewalker starring chuck norris oh my god i love that movie I just you, watched. You're I just, so weird. I just watched Invasion USA with Chuck Norris on Amazon Why? Prime. Go check it out. You're weird. Uh, remember that time Wolverine had an eye on the tip of his claw in one comic I read, Trevor? Mm. Wolverine is a stud, Jamie says. He is I a agree. stud McMuffin. Phil says, Kiwi and Slim, what up, gangsters? What up? See? What up, We're hip. dog? Yeah. Let's talk about Wolverine being hot. 
I'm, I'm down for that. I'm all down. Yeah, same. He's all man. Mm-hmm. I mean, have you ever seen um, the Wolverine movie? You ever seen that movie? What do you mean? The one before uh, Logan? Yeah. Where he's in Japan? Yes. Remember that scene where he's fighting uh, the Silver Samurai and he's like rippling? Yes. Oh my God. I feel like... Rippling. I just also just love Hugh Jackman. He's really good. Have yeah. you seen uh, The Showman yet? That music? Mm. <laughs> Don't even get me started. <laughs> uh, Bra- it's so good. Brandon's here. Execs had the nerve to schedule a meeting during Facebook Live. Get these uh, execs out of here. Out of here. Ban them all. Rest in, po- rest in peace, Wolverine. Dangy Jerry Seinfeld talking about Hugh and making him retire. I don't. Ugh, know. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand that, Trevor. Explain, Trevor. Um, what do you got? Real quick. <laughs> Black Panther annual number one. Um, Whoa! The reason I picked this up is because it has. You can't get enough of Wakanda. I'm I'm all Wakanda all the time. Mm-hmm. Wakanda forever. Maybe we should do that when we see each other in the hallway. I want to do this. Let's always do that when we walk past each other. Oh, my God. I love it so much. <laughs> Chuck Norris versus Wolvie. Who wins? Oh, my God. We, the viewer, win. Wolverine. Uh, Black Panther Annual. The reason I got it, Daniel Acuna is one of my favorite artists, and he does the main story in here. But on top of that, they do something really interesting uh, where they bring back legendary Black Panther writers, Christopher Priest, Tom McGregor, Reginald Hudlin. Um, Very cool. So Panther's Rage, the writer who did that, who's, which is like – a legendary uh, Black Panther story, which Killmonger debuted in, kind of shows his story. Um, but the first story involves uh, Everett Ross. So there's like mm-hmm. a, a new story with him. The second story, Don McGregor comes back and writes kind of the fallout of um, Panther's Rage, where Black Panther's girlfriend dies of cancer. Um, and then this, the third one is, I believe, Reginald Hudlin's, uh, which is like an alternate future of Wakanda. And it was really great. I love this I love this annual. It, it's it's not like too wild and crazy for new readers. Like even if you're a brand, I mean, um, even if you're an old reader, you love it. If you're a new, new reader, you love it. But yeah. I'm all in. I'm all in, Marvel. <laughs> I know you're watching. Drinking the Kool-Aid. Jerry Seinfeld made Hugh Jackman retire because Hugh asked Jerry if he should retire and he did because of Jerry. What is this business about Jerry Seinfeld? Jerry Trevor? Seinfeld, traitor. Philip <laughs> Kiwi, will you go to prom with me circa 2004? I'll totally go to prom with you. 100%. I still have both of my prom dresses. So. <laughs> Did you, do you have off. those prom pictures where you're like the prom pose? Yes, where it's like so awkward and I, my date was shorter than me. Shocking. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier about how you, you asked the open question why tall people don't date each other. Tall people date they small don't. people. They don't. If you're watching right now and you're tall, why don't you date someone that's also tall? Philip, how tall are you? <laughs> Let's start there. <laughs> All right. Well, should we talk about this? Do you want to talk about this? You can talk about it. If I can. I, I'm just more excited for Redlands. Talk about what you're excited about. All right. About. So Redlands. And I think this Redlands. actually might be the last issue. And I'm sorry if that's your, I'm misinforming you right now. But um, in the back of it, it seems like what they wrote, I think this is it. I hope not. Redlands. Yeah, I hope not. So, um, Redlands is really good. It's about this coven that lives in Redlands, Florida. And Love Florida. Mikey P lives in Florida. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mikey P is my BFF. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey um, P, will you take uh, Kiwi to prom circa 2005? 2018. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it's this coven. It's a group of super empowered, like, witch women that just, like, wreck stuff and they're really great and in this particular issue the last issue we learned about this girl that went missing and she was abused and um went to work in like a brothel and was just like abused there and it was like really just like super sad so one of the um witches in the coven is like has this like sense that something's wrong and then she ends up in this sewer drain and finds the body of this girl who went missing and then the girl's spirit like goes inside her and then she's just like oh well now is the time where i'm going to basically avenge my death it's time it's time so this issue is all about that how she um she hooks up with one of the guys from the police precinct and they go out on this like adventure to just avenge herself and at the end she gets justice for her death and it's really nice. Wow. So it's a lot of just like, you know, revenge. Which is just like burning stuff and What's in the back? Cool. Look like sig- like signatures. So or in the back of all of um Redlands, they have basically I 
I don't know, they're not like props, but they'll have like torn articles from like the times just like make it seem more realistic. Mm. So this is just like an example of an email written by someone from the book. So they do stuff like that wow. behind every issue. And I think that's pretty cool. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Props to them. Yeah. They'll make like magazine clippings or they wrote like this girl's entire diary like by hand. It was really, really cool. So check Redlands out if you like the occult or witches or justice. I love justice. It's one of my favorite things. Same. Uh, Philip is six foot. Jamie is six two. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another book. Yeah. We're running out of tape. How many? I got like 30 more books. Same, I do too. Uh, Deathbed uh, from Vertigo. <laughs> I didn't think this was from Vertigo, mainly because there's a lot of man peen. This is definitely NSFW. Flopping around. Can I say flopping around on Facebook it's Live? It's flopping around. You want to talk about flopping around? I can't even show you. So this guy is naked mostly throughout the whole it's thing not, right but the plot isn't like that he's nude like let me see if i can put my finger on his junk oh like right God. here like uh. so the it, plot is of that this, it shaking oh my God. that's the audio uh. Uh. Uh, the plot of this is a, a young writer gal is uh hard up for a job so she gets a call saying this dude wants you to ghostwrite his story and she's yeah. like i don't feel like doing that but she's hard up for cash, so she goes. She's never heard of this guy. She's researched him, got nothing. Uh, so she gets to his house. It's kind of like the Wayne estate. Um, but as she gets there, they're walking past like all these large scale paintings of kind of like various points in his life. And he, he's a, a, allegedly this like the greatest adventurer in the history of the world. But he's kept all his exploits secret. Uh, so he's like a mixture of Indiana Jones, Batman, um, Han Solo. So low. And uh, so he's on his deathbed, allegedly. Uh, when she gets there, he, he this is like, this is a spoiler, this is the, the, the reason the series is based on. He reveals that he's actually not sick, and this was a trick to get his, like, enemies out into the open uh, and announce to them that he's going to tell his story finally, and she can come with him or not. So it's like this young writer who's like, do I go with this crazy, maybe, adventurer and get into hijinks with like zombies and vampires or right. do I just go home and not get paid? And she's like, okay, I'll go. So that's the story. Um, the shots with the peen is him coming out of, <laughs> coming out of his bed and he's, he's, he's got like a, a utility belt on and he that's is it. literally naked with only a utility belt. <laughs> uh, but I was into it. I was all over it. No, I bet you were. I loved it. Can I just talk about one more thing? No, I want to. I all want right, you. Go, you go, you go. All right. Actually, first, just look at this cover with who I refer to now as Old Man Luke. Oh my God, that's an amazing cover. Is that gorgeous? That looks like Phil Noto. I'm not going to talk about it, but there okay. it is. Um, so, Thank Hit you. Girl. Last week we had Kick Ass come out, right? Hit Girls this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. So, she's looking for a new partner. Obviously, she's in need. So, the book opens up with this guy trying to, sp I guess, spring his brother from prison. He's like, has he's killed a lot of people Murderer. and he's facing like 20 lifetime sentences <laughs> so i don't know why people do that i think one lifetime is probably good <laughs> you know <laughs> so um he thinks that his brother like figured out how to get out of prison and escaped but really it was hit girl and she's like dude do you want to be my partner and there's lots of blood and a lot death. of blood and uh yeah i think she found herself a partner for now I, seems yeah i was okay. into it i read it yeah. uh i actually have someone said that um i don't remember in our marketing pot if i remembered kick ass to the movie and i was like there was a kick ass too and there I actually, was a kick I, ass i've seen too, it yeah. i just totally forgot about it yeah but i like this first issue it seems right. like it's gonna get pretty it's basically her violent. just trying to figure out like who's gonna replace him violent and uh she like gets this one guy and he like he's it's a little bee. foul yeah it's a lot of swearing lots of blood blood <laughs> so i mean that's what you, to expect with the hit girl series i guess yeah so it's good we'll see what goes on uh hi victor trevor says canadian bacon and pineapple bacon pizza and comic books that sounds amazing i've never had that combination before in my life it's like a hawaiian pizza i've never had a hawaiian pizza i usually eat pepperoni sausage bacon or chicken on it at the same time no not simultaneously simultaneously <laughs> uh last book i'll talk about we're r rapidly running out of tape 
The earth has been stolen. Still. I haven't read this issue yet. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's still so stolen. What would you buy with $10? All right. What would I buy quick for $10? Actually, I'm only going to spend $8 because I am awesome. Um, so there's an image, 50% off sale going on, 50% off trades, which is awesome. Wow. Um, so I would buy two, volume one, mm. which is about this cop that um, basically cracks cases by eating dead bodies and figuring out like what happened to them, which is pretty awesome. Tom, um, Tom says, is this comic available on our new mobile website? It is, Tom. I mentioned the mobile website You did, earlier. Tom. <laughs> but yes, Thanks for mo- tuning in at the very end, but we did, t- <laughs> we did talk about the mobile website. Mobile website redesign, m.comicsology.com. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Um, and then I would buy Deadly Class Volume 1 because oh. who doesn't want to go to a school for assassins? Oh. I do. It's like Hogwarts, school for assassins. My you know, God. like what do we pick? Disney, are you listening? Maybe a combo of oh my gosh. both. <laughs> both what would you buy i would buy uh some backless spider-man we just released on tuesday mm. which i would assume is going to have a trade release on thursday if anyone knows how that works by now <laughs> uh deadly foes of spider-man one of my earliest spider-man purchases when i was a kid i remember i reread it last night on my amazon fire tablet 10 hd oh which you can get Shameless on amazon.com mm. <laughs> mm. and every panel that i remember i remember tracing when i was a kid um and it's it it's like one of the first ones that follow just the villains remember the superior foes of spider-man yeah. this one was like an original version of that not as funny it's more serious but it follows the beetle boomerang speed demon you know a couple, couple lame heroes or villains rather as they try to make money mike says diablo house is on sale oh definitely buy diablo house then that's your book i'd also add that to my ten dollars <laughs> there's no time there's no time <laughs> Uh, do we have anything that's coming out? We don't. We don't do that segment anymore, do we? Or it's on um, list. No, it's just a secret. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep them, you know, in the dark. Keep. We have to keep it fresh. We do for Facebook. Exactly. But we got to get back to work. We got to get back to work. Get back to the nine to five. Or for you, it's more like a ten to two. <laughs> <laughs> There's whispers. We're gonna get some ghost pepper Popeyes chicken for lunch. There is whispers. There's whispers. Stay tuned to our Insta stories for more details. Uh, but so yeah, check out the Black Panther sale, which is I think still going on now. Yes, uh, check out our Twitch video. Watch our interview with our friends at uh, IMDb. Yep, it's check really out, funny. We're funny. I mean, let's face funny. facts here. Check out our new mobile site redesign. Yeah, you know, Mike Rappin is in the comments. He worked pretty hard on it, among many other people. Super smooth and slick. Smooth. And uh, that's it. We'll see everybody next time. Yes, we will next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching, fam. Goodbye.